What's up, everyone? Zonobar here coming. No. How's it going, everyone? Zonobar here coming at you with another episode of YouTube Diary. Today, guys, this episode might be a little longer than usual. I want to transform this into maybe a podcast. So feel free to put me on another like page on or on the side monitor you have and just do your thing. I'm going to talk about YouTube, about my journey so far, about how I feel about my content. So feel free to just sit back and relax. Before I start, though, I just want to say that. Uh, I'm doing a giveaway right now on my Twitter. I'm giving away a Players Unknown Battleground, uh, the game uh, as a Steam gift. So if you guys want to participate, if you guys can't afford this awesome game, uh, feel free to participate. You just have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can like follow me on Twitter to get some entries. It's pretty easy. So just go to my Twitter, guys. There's a link in the description. So guys, for this episode of YouTube Diary, I wanted to talk about many, 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 many things. And first of all, I want to say what's up. What's up, guys? So right now on YouTube, I have a bunch of new subscribers coming on from the giveaway. And I want to talk about giveaways and and just stuff. And we'll just go along a, just a normal conversation, right? Giveaways is something for me that allows me to get more subscribers and hopefully more viewers on my YouTube channel and it is it could be I've seen people telling me I got some DMs telling me yo you're fucking lame you're spending money for followers really like if people don't want your shit it's because it's shit and and that's it right but I don't know guys I've been I've been receiving a lot of messages as well especially my Instagram and People have told me that they don't understand why I'm stuck at 200 subscribers. Not because they wanted to sugarcoat me or something like that, but I've been really looking and thriving for feedbacks. And I don't ask for shout out right now to other YouTubers. I literally just ask for feedbacks. I, I've contacted a few League of Legends YouTubers and I'm like, okay, hey guys, I'm Zonobra and I have over... 200 videos, almost 300, I do League of Legends stuff, I do gameplay, I'm, I used to be a Diamond 1 player, I do guides, I try to talk about business stuff, about eSport, I generally don't understand why I cannot gain follower and grow my audience, and and they all told me, like, like not all of them responded, but two people responded, I have no idea how you have that less subscribers. I feel like some people see growth on YouTube as a very natural thing that like they start posting, people start viewing, that people start subscribing. But I feel like some people get stuck at some time, like people some people get stuck at 10,000, 1,300, 10 subscribers. People get stuck somehow. And some people told me that once the snowball is created, it just starts rolling and things start just growing. And I thought it was an interesting metaphor because I feel like right now I'm just stuck at this 200 or 250 subscriber range. But things might get unstuck somehow and I just got to keep going. Like one thing is that they told me, yo, no matter what, dude, no matter what, do things that you're happy about to show people. And if people see value, they will share it, etc., etc. I love what I'm doing right now. I genuinely love what I'm doing right now. I think that my content is the shit. Like, really. I'm being honest with you guys. I genuinely think that my content is really good. And it might be not the best, but it's the best that I can bring so far. I think that my business videos are very unique. Not a lot of people discuss about that. I think that my esports stuff is, is also really good uh but of course there's always room for improvement i always always search for feedback sometimes i tweet guys sometimes in my video description i'm like i want to know something you did not like about this video and this is i i don't get a response obviously because there's not a lot of comment creativity uh, there's not a lot of comment uh community in my channels but last time crash told me to make videos about per game moves that I could analyze and I started a new series called moves and I thought it was awesome uh, I really genuinely love this uh, this series and I'm gonna start doing it because I feel like I feel I'm just good at, at, at talking and he said dude like you could you're good at talking you should just talk about stuff and I don't necessarily know what it means to be good at talking but I feel like I'm naturally comfortable uh, talking to a camera uh, 
online judgment and stuff. I don't really care about anything. I just want to put out there what I think about stuff. Like when I talk about Phantom Lord, when I talk about um, uh, Overwatch, Overwatch League, I wasn't really nice to this project or this, this streamer. Uh, I wasn't bullying them either. I wasn't roasting them. I was just giving out my opinion. Some people didn't like it. Some people liked it. Uh, it is for me interesting to, to get feedbacks from bigger YouTuber because they experience more. But it is hard for me to not compare myself to others. So I've seen a lot of videos about how you shouldn't compare yourself to other YouTubers because everyone has his own story, but it's so hard, dude. Like, for example, when I see a guy with like 20 videos about some some montage he did or like some gameplay he did and he has 1,000 subscribers, you're like, how is that possible? Like, the guy has 10 videos, 1,000 subscribers, and the gameplay is literally like him with the record of of like a game, like with like just the spectator mode, right? There's no commentary, there's no added value to, to the actual gameplay. And I don't know. I, I I generally don't know. I'm like sometimes I see this and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? What the hell is that, dude? So I started to work hard on promoting my videos as well. So one thing I got from feedbacks from YouTubers is like, yo, you gotta spam Reddit. You gotta spam Facebook groups. Not spam, but you gotta you gotta be like, you gotta be like con consistent. That was the word I was looking for. So now I really work hard on that. I used to I used to like do YouTube and Twitter and maybe a, a Facebook group. Now I do like two, three Facebook groups. I do Reddit, I do Blogger, I do Tumblr, I sometimes do Pinterest, Pinterest. I do Twitter, I do Twitter hashtags, I do uh, Facebook page. I do anything in my power to promote my shit. And I also work really hard on video tags. I feel like video tags are kind of useless but sometimes it just helps to know what people are searching like it helps you with the youtube search definitely but damn dude it's it's a grind dude like honestly youtube is no fun bro it's no 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 easy shit it's not no fun it's just no easy shit man so right now out of desperation i want to say i'm not i'm not ashamed to say it i do giveaways i spend my own money on that just because i want people to notice my shit and call me attention whore, call me whatever, but I, I, I'm convinced that my stuff is good and that it deserves more attention because it really, I'm really trying to bring value to people and I feel like if someone sees it once and discovered, he will stay and just watch more shit from me. This is just my point of view. I'm, I'm, I'm not scared of saying I'm proud of my content. Like, I, I work hard for it. Like, I spend every single day editing, every single day I post a new video. I try new things, I try new stuff. And if I don't show confidence in my content, then who will? So, I don't want to sound cocky at all. I don't have anything to sound cocky for, to be honest. 200 subscribers is. It's really bad. Like, it's not much. It's not much. For 300 videos, it's. It's not much. I literally have more videos than subscribers. And at this point, guys, it could be very depressing. But to be honest, I really strongly feel motivated. I wake up in the morning and I'm like, yo, I'm going to do a sick video today. I'm going to try my best to edit better, to make find better music, just do things quicker, try hard on promotion. So I don't know if you can hear that. There's just skaters outside my house. But it's just like for me it's really nice I don't know it's really really nice so one thing I've been looking at as well is tips from youtubers to youtubers to up, up and coming youtuber and of course of course there's channels there's business there's services dedicated to help you promote your channel so I don't remember the name but there's this this group this this YouTube channel that is dedicated to give you tips on what to do to promote your YouTube channel. And to talk about branding, sharing in social media, make edits, make sure you bring value to people, make sure you use the right title, make sure you work on thumbnails, custom thumbnails are important. And I I don't know, I feel like I don't know, I don't I don't want to sound cocky again, but I feel like all those things I am doing already. Uh might it be might it be that League of Legends is just a game where people found their roots already and that people have 
have been used to their YouTubers and they don't want to switch to another one. Might it be might it be that? But I when I'm saying this, I'm thinking that there's just new players of League of Legends every day. People create accounts every day. People start level one every day. And people turn it's like just people like turn eighteen every day, etc. etc. Like there's so much there's so much more People going into YouTube every day about gaming. Gaming is just growing super fast. League of Legends is growing super fast. Not the esports maybe, but like the the game itself, it's growing really fast. And I feel like there's always an audience just to convince. So, the thing I want to talk about next is I want to talk about me comparing myself to new YouTubers. So something I, I've seen in tips for YouTubers is. Yo, you shouldn't you, you shouldn't compare yourself to other YouTubers because they don't have the same story, they don't have the same past, they, they don't have the same shit as you. But dude, sometimes you see YouTubers and you're like, bro, I literally I literally want your life, dude. Like maybe not like that, of course, because no one is perfect and what people show online isn't totally like the hundred percent truth, but I recently stumbled upon a YouTuber called Nate Shot. I'm sure you guys heard of him. He has three million subscribers and he's he has been known to be a professional gamer for Call of Duty Black Ops or two I think like he got famous with Call of Duty the franchise and right now he's doing vlogging he's doing streaming on several games like H1Z1 plays on the battleground and this guy inspires the shit out of me bro and he just does he he really 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 does but I don't want to compare myself to him. I just want to be inspired from him, strive to be like him, or to to like chase what he has. But I don't want to be like him specifically. But it's hard to not think about it because the guy, he works so hard. Like he, I don't. He, I. Well, okay, so when I find out about a YouTuber story, when I find out about a YouTuber success, I always try to go back to the past and see his first video, his first interview. His first hit, his first podcast, his first interview, whatever. I try to trace back and connect the dots backwards because all I see is this video of him with his girlfriend, whatever, with a million views on his uh, on his video. I don't know the backstory from it. The guy has over a thousand seven hundred videos. Uh, he worked at McDonald's for four years. He has an amazing story. Like he worked so hard on Call of Duty. Uh, he dropped out of college, and it's easy to see that now he's in LA, he's a popular streamer, he has a luxury car, he has the Yeezys, he has the girls, he has the group of friends, he has the he has the good apartment in LA. He's chilling. Like he's good. He has a good life right now. But it's important to know that it it hasn't just been like that for him. And he does that in a very interesting podcast called No Jumper. You guys go and YouTube search uh, No Jumper Nate Shot interview or something like that. And it's an hour and a half podcast with him and the host of the show. And it's just so fascinating. I'm genuinely fascinated by YouTuber story. This is more of a gaming one. I talked about Jake Paul in another video. I talked about other YouTubers in other videos. But I just feel like this guy has... He has no drama. Like, he literally worked hard for his shit. Uh, I'm not sure how he started. I don't know if he did giveaways like I'm doing right now. I don't know what he did when he had 200 subscribers. But... I mean, maybe he never had 200 subscribers. Maybe he started YouTube after his professional career. And just YouTube, like, the subscribers starting to go up and everything. So for me, it's interesting to see what's up with those YouTubers that are big. Because obviously, it is me being a kid looking at the past generation and seeing what works, what didn't work. And from the Nate Shot thing, I've been looking at... Phase banks, uh, phase, uh, phase something like the phase crew, like everyone, everything starts with phase. I don't remember the name, uh, and it's super interesting. Like those guys are super successful at what they do. They build a, a business of esports that is insane. People love their shit. I saw Phase Clan at IEM Oakland last year, and they have fans everywhere. Like when they go outside. Just people yell for them and stuff like they're rock stars. Right now they're rock stars, and I, like instead of just being jealous of their shit, I, I'm I don't know, I'm happy for them. Like honestly, there's no I'm not I'm just inspired the shit out of them. Like that's literally what it is. I see that and I'm like fuck, I want that. I want that. 
I want to work for that. Because I'm not going to be humble, bro. Like, I, I, I don't want to lie to you guys. Having an apartment, a car, a group of friends, a girl in L.A., it's hella dope. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's really, really dope. And maybe it's not the thing you should chase in YouTube. Maybe it's not the thing that you should look for going into YouTube. And I'm, that's not what I am. But I feel like it's a good thing to be motivated, inspired, and just like see what it could look like at the end of the tunnel. Because right now, guys, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber that is posting every day, that is following everyone's tip, that is respecting people's feedback, that is responding to comments. I, I feel like I'm doing pretty well in terms of what I'm doing, but right now I can't find success out of it. So, I think I'm just going to keep grinding, guys. I'm I, Of course I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep grinding, keep looking for other success stories on YouTube, get inspired from this. This week, guys, I look at, maybe I looked at the entire, entire YouTube channel on Nate Shot, at least like his last 20, 30 videos of his vlogs, and... It's very inspiring. It's very, very inspiring. And even though he shows off a little bit too much, maybe of his life and what he owns and what he doesn't, it's okay, bro. I, now I know his past. I know where he was. I know that those things that he has right now was, wasn't there before. And I'm straight up happy for him because I feel like I could do it too. And if you guys are YouTubers yourself, if you guys want to go to YouTube, I suggest that you do it as soon as possible. Because something I've learned is that your first 100 videos is probably not going to matter. The first 200 videos aren't probably going to matter. Maybe the first 1,000 videos you're going to put up aren't going to matter. Something I've seen is that sometimes you get a hit, a home run, like you hit a home run on YouTube, and that home run brings you amazing followings, amazing subscribers. And people are going to stay and just fuck with your vibe and, and stuff. This is something I've seen myself when I did a video of Mood, uh, about Mood.gg, about Phantom Lord. Those were big hits video. We're talking 3,000 views, 800 views. And, and they were just like, they brought subscribers. Like maybe I get like two subscribers from this one, maybe five subscribers from this one. Those are the videos that bring subscribers. So I might look for big hits uh, and home runs on the YouTube game. And I'm gonna keep grinding, guys. This this was just an ama- this is an amazing experience. Right now it's vacation mode because I'm in, in the summer, and I, and I take my time to not rest and just work hard and grind this YouTube thing. Because after college is gonna start again, and I might not have as much time as I wish I could. But right now I'm just trying to grind, 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 hustle, hustle, work every video, edit, do highlights, do this, do that, just so I can find and get the first thousand subscribers. I think that once I get to 1,000 subscribers, guys, I may might be able to go faster to 10,000 subscribers than I went from 0 to 100. It, it is what it is, guys. I, I, accepted, uh, I accept where I am right now. I think that everything that people have is deserved. If I don't deserve more subscribers, it means that my content isn't good enough. Even though I'm proud of what I do, it is not good enough. It, it is not good enough. Like I, We have to admit it to ourselves. And... And I, I want to be I want to be very open minded about thinking that my content sucks. Personally, I'm I don't think it sucks. Otherwise, I won't put it out there. I think that there's always some lessons to to take out of my gameplays. There's always cool things to learn out of my move series and even this YouTube diary. It could be very interesting. But those podcasts don't make views because, well, it is. It is for you that I do that, but it's also for me when I look back maybe two, five, ten years from now. I will watch this episode and I'll be like, damn, man, like, that 200 subscribers period was hitting me hard, man. I've been stuck at that for three years. It's been hard shit. So, I love those videos. I love talking to the mic. I love watching YouTube videos. I love getting inspired from new YouTubers, from up, up, like from old YouTubers, from veterans, from OGs. Like, Nate Shot has been seven years on YouTube, man. Seven years on YouTube, posting Call of Duty, posting vlogs, posting Day in the Lives, posting unboxings and shit. It is really, really, really something I want to I wanna do, guys. I just feel like the vibe of YouTube, the vibe of being like an influencer, the vibe of just being... Uh, I don't know if it's being liked, but just being liked for what you're doing, like putting content that people enjoy watching, people enjoy sharing to their friends, with their friends, watching with their friends, etc., etc. It's just, it's just a cool shit. It's, it's really cool. So, I'm not saying, guys, that all this YouTube thing is just to be a famous, like a famous bitch that lives in LA. 
and that does nothing but showing how much uh, money I have, whatever. I'm not doing that for this, obviously. Like, obviously, guys, I hope you guys understand that. Like, I'm not, this is not the pursuit of money that I'm doing right now. This is me generally putting content out there, hoping that people found value out of it, hoping that people would share it, and hoping that people would, would fuck with my vibe. And that that's really, really, really much what it is about. I think that th this week, this past week was very, very amazing. Even this month of YouTube was amazing. Uh, I've did two home runs with Firm Lord and Munda GG. Uh, I work hard on my website, The Zona Post. I work hard on my Instagram account. I work hard and I'm convinced that I will eventually see results. I'm convinced like people have tell me like feedbacks. People told me that my content is good. People recommended their content to their friends. If one people does that, I don't see why 10 people can do that. And if 10 people do that, I don't see why a million people can do that. So guys, it was just me rambling about stuff. Uh, I hope that, I don't know, I, like, I hope you listen to that and, like, just chill and uh, sit back, maybe, like, read a book or just, uh, doing, like, some, some cardio station at the gym. I don't know, man. I'm just talking, guys. I'll probably see this episode in one to two years and think that, god damn it, I was a piece of shit back then. But, it is important for me to document my YouTube journey. I sincerely hope that you find value to this. And if you guys want to become a YouTuber, if you guys want to do this, I really encourage you to do it and never fucking give up. It's a hard game. There's a lot of competition out there. A lot of people are doing way better shit than you. But a lot of people are also doing way worse shit than you. So, if you listen to this now, if you listen to this in 2020, if you listen to this in 2025, if YouTube is still around, do your YouTube shit, grind be better at editing, be, do al like, always listen to feedbacks, be open-minded, and think that your content is shit, and just strive to be better, and yeah, and shout out to you, man, and Zonobra, Zonobra of the future, if you're watching this in five years, man, I hope you're a successful YouTuber, man, because I know you worked hard on that shit, man, and... You deserve it, man. People tell you deserve it. Your family supports you. Your friends support you. Your gamer friends support you. And I hope you find success in this. This might be a little creepy to talk to my future, se my future self, but I'm pretty sure that's pretty dope if in five years I actually find success. That <laughs> that would be so fucking amazing. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Alright, guys. It's going to be the end of this diary episode, this diary log. I hope you guys liked it. I honestly hope you guys liked it, that you just chilled and listened to it, uh, eating some popcorn and drinking some warm hot cocoa, but yeah, it was the episode 4 or 5, I don't remember, I hope you guys like it, if you guys did, don't forget to subscribe, smash that motherfucking like button boy, and take care of yourself man, and if you want to be a YouTube, and if you want to help, if, if I can help you in any way guys, make sure you contact me, if you want to collab, hit me up in the DMs, uh, and let's let's get shit done, man. Let's just let's get weird. Thank you so much for listening, guys. I'll see you for the next video tomorrow. Cheers. Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse, man, what a view. Fall back as I'm coming through with my whole team. They coming too. That's real.